This is Savage W, MMA fan, back with another video. And I want to break down the fight this weekend between Amanda Hebus and Angela Hill. I've been thinking a lot about this fight. This is the fight that interests me most this weekend. And I, I think this breakdown, ultimately for me, is going to be rather simple. The bottom line is, happy feet Hebus, who got her ass knocked out by Rodriguez in her last fight. She need to make this a rough fight. Don't be standing at mid-range with Angela Hill. Don't be trying to outstrike over Gil Hill. I, I think that's going to be a problem for her. Like, I think her overall skills kind of covered up the fact that she could be a better striker. She's definitely striking with some pop. I mean, she may have a little bit more power than Angela Hill, but I just think Angela Hill throws the better combinations in volume. And I think that she needs to do just enough striking to get this fight to the ground. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even do a whole lot of striking. I would just use the threat of the takedown to catch her a few times and to take her to the ground. But she may want to start trying to muscle her up against the cage. That, that might actually work for her. And by muscling her up against the cage and making it real difficult for Angela, I, I think, you know, eventually with some good clinch work, I think she has the advantage in the clinch. Just, just wear on her. Just completely wear on her body, work some knees, get her to the ground, ground and pound, and choke her the fuck out. I, I think that's Amanda Heba's best fucking option. You know, all this shit about wanting to impress the crowd. You, you impress the crowd more with victories than with losses. So <laughs> I think at the end of the day, this is what Amanda Hebas needs to do. She just needs to use her superior judo and jujitsu to take the fight to the ground. And, and use her size on Angela Hill. I mean, it, it's, it's really that damn simple. But we'll see what she does because, again, she get a little happy feet and then she get knocked on a happy ass, okay? And that wasn't the first time she got knocked out in her career, and it, it may not be the last. I'm not saying she's chinny. I'm just saying there's a possibility she could get hurt in this fight if she's not careful. So she needs to go for what she knows. Now, I believe that Angela Hill needs to work that body. Work that damn body. Do things that make it hard for Hebus to, you know, want to get down and, and, and go for a takedown. Work the ribs, work the body, go high-low, mix it together. Reverse all clinches up against the fence. She needs to. She needs to stay off of that damn fence. And while I agree with people that her overall game has seemed to improve and her ground game hasn't been improving, I, at the end of the day, I'm not 100% sold. I don't know. But what she can do. And what I've been noticing she's been doing is uh, getting better, getting off the ground. Well, here's a nice little kick. Again, she needs to mix it up. But again, like, she needs to reverse these positions. Get the dominant position. And here, here's what I want to show you. Right here, where Angela Hill is getting really good at, is at getting back up. So, so nine times out of ten, she's going to get taken down in this fight. It's, it's probably going to be hard for her to avoid getting taken down by Amanda Hebus. But what she can do is if she can keep getting up as fast as possible and putting the pressure back on Hebus, I think she can win this fight. I really think she can win this fight. My problem is right now I'm not sure about either one of these fighters. I'm not 100% confident. I, 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 I think Hebus might have a tendency to let people back in the fights that maybe she could have possibly finished. And I think Angela Hill lets people back in fights by not finishing them getting them out of there, you know, or, or at least doing her best to make it convincing for the judges. And I know the judges are full of shit and they fucking assholes a lot of times. And some of it isn't even the judges. It's probably the scoring system. But then again, you know, Angela Hill has got screwed quite a bit. So I'm picking Angela Hill. It's really a toss up for me. It's really a fucking toss up for me. But uh, I'm, I'm going with Angela Hill and I want to go by a unanimous decision. Now, she may be able to get Hebus out of there, but I think it's more than likely that Hebus would submit her than she would get knocked out by Angela Hill, but we'll see. We'll fucking see. This is Savage W, MMA fan, and I'm out.